Hi viewers, hi friends and also my dear students and my dear parents. Today there is a second session in Biology Expected 2020. So we are going to attend the question number 6 of the second session today. So let us, let me hand the session to Mr. Satya Narayan who is an IATN. So we are going to have the question number 6 today sir. So this is the second session, we can go into the session now. Yeah. Thank you very much and kindly view this important question and note only in a notebook. Yeah, the question goes like this. Important function of transpiration in plants is all except number one, removal of excess water from the soil, cooling of the plant, rapid ascent of sap, maintain high root pressure. You know, we know that uh, transpiration is an important event that uh, caters to the requirement of the plant, both in terms of uh, you know uptake of uh, material from soil to the higher parts of the plant, or in other words, to the canopy of the plant. So that is one aspect. Second thing is, transpiration also brings down the temperature of the canopy by around 2 to 3 degrees centigrade. The third important function of transpiration is, it always maintains a high root pressure. What is not the, the function of transpiration is, removal of excess water from the soil is not the function of transpiration. So the option is, option A is the answer for this question. Yeah, now question number 6 is very important. So already it has been given important function of transpiration in plants in all except is already exceptional question. So we have to give the answer which is not there in the options. Now the options for this question is removal of excess water from the soil. Please note it down. Let us go for the second question. Yeah, this is the second question and we can expect such questions not only in the meat exam but also in many other complete exams. The question goes like this. Companion cells in plants are associated with vessels, sperms, sieve elements and god cells. We know that companion cells are those cells which are very closely connected to sieve cells in angiosperms, particularly in angiosperms. These sieve elements, since they don't have their own nucleus, they need to be neglected by a cell adjacent to them and that's how the sieve elements are neglected by you know, companion cells. Companion cells have their own nuclei. So with the help of this companion cells nuclei, the sieve tube cell get regulated. So the correct answer is sieve elements. Yeah, question number two, I think you have noted in your notebook. So this question uh, given by our IHEN, Mr. Satya Narayan, is also taken as a very important question. This is not only for me, this question is important for all the board exams and also for all the committee exams. So again, I just want to repeat the question. See here, companion cells in plants are associated with dash. There are four options. Now I know you know the answer. The answer is C elements. So thank you very much for giving a beautiful question. The question number two, which is very important as we told. So our students will not take a note on that. Yes. So let us go for the third question, sir. Let us go to the question number three. Which of the following cell organs can survive out of the cell? The options are endoplasmic reticulum, chloroplast, mitochondria, and Golgi apparatus. You know, if you look at uh, these organelles, endoplasmic reticulum is a part of uh, endomembrane system. Chloroplast is also called as uh, endosymbiont because it is uh, a semi-autonomous organelle along with the mitochondria. But the thing is, chloroplast uh, can be separately taken in a test tube, and if it is uh, illuminated uh, with a light. We can elicit, you know, what are photosynthesis that happens uh, with the help of uh, chloroplast. So chloroplast can be used without a cell for uh, performing uh, photosynthesis, whereas it's not possible with the uh, uh, Golgi apparatus, neither mitochondria or uh, endoplasmic reticulum. So the correct answer is option B, chloroplast. Let us go to question number four. For synthesis of uh, one glucose molecule. The number of ATP is required are 9 ATP is for CT cycle and 20 ATP is for C4 cycle, 18 ATP is for CT cycle and 30 ATP is for C4 cycle, 22 ATP is in CT cycle, 35 ATP is for C4 cycle and the fourth option says 24 ATP is for CT cycle and 36 ATP is for C4 cycle. If you look at uh, the cabin cycle, in C3 plants, uh, cabin cycle happens uh, only in uh, you know, mesophyll cells and uh, during this cabin cycle process, uh, the ATP is totally required or 18 ATPs. 
That means 12 ATPs are required during reduction step and the 6 ATPs are required for resolution of RDBP. But that is not the case in C4 plants. We know that in C4 plants, carbon dioxide is released in butter sheet cells and this is done by a C4 molecule such as malic acid which enters into butter sheet cell, undergoes decarboxylation and the released pyruvic acid goes back to miscible cell before it collects one more carbon dioxide. As it enters the miscible cell, the pyruvic acid has to become a phosphorinol pyruvic acid. This step requires additional phosphorylation. So for every carbon dioxide that is being fixed in the butter sheet cell, I'm sorry, decarboxylated butter sheet cell, when it enters into miscible cell, two ATPs are required. Since totally six carbon dioxide molecules are involved in glucose formation, totally six into two, totally 12 ATPs are additionally required besides the requirement of 12, 18 ATPs in the Calvin cycle. So 18 plus 12, 30 ATPs are required in C4 plants. You know C4 plants include a sorghum, maize, sugarcane, etc. In such plants, there is a total requirement of 30, 30 ATPs in C4 cycle, whereas in normal C3 plants like tomato, bell pepper, we only require 18 ATPs. So the correct answer is option B. 18 ATPs for C3 cycle, 30 ATPs for C4 cycle. Let us go to the question number 5. Cyclosporin A is used for lowering LDL cholesterol, lipid digestion during the ripening of cheese, immunosuppression and flowering of edibles. As we know that cyclosporin A is a compound obtained from a microbe called Trichoderma polysporum. This Trichoderma polysporum is a fungus and the cyclosporin A is basically used to suppress the immune response in those people who are uh, you know who received the organ or those patients who underwent organ transplantation so the correct answer is immunosuppression is the correct answer yeah this is the second session uh, sir you have given a wonderful questions both in the first and second session so totally 10 questions have been given kindly see all the questions note it down and this is very important not only for NEED 2020 it is important for ever because such a beautiful question since it is an IHEN he has given and he has framed this five questions in the second second video. So what you have to do is, if you are not subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe my channel. And also the most important thing is you have to share this knowledge to all of your friends. Finally, make a like symbol there, give a like symbol and share to all of your friends. Thank you for viewing this channel and bye bye. Let us see for the next session.